Um, what is up, my Wadaway Warriors, and welcome back to another video. Today, today we're gonna have a super fun session on the beach, thanks to uh, this thing that just arrived. Before I jump into this video, this video is sponsored by the guys at Baseblock, so thank you to them for sending over these canes. I did explicitly say to them that if I didn't like the canes, I wouldn't publish the video that I made on it, so if you're seeing this, it means I think they're pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's see what they're like. That was pretty straightforward to do, but hopefully this should be relatively travel friendly, we'll see. Right, so one of the reasons I like these canes is not that they are specific handstand canes, because they're not. Handstand canes are quite different, so I actually made my own canes, I made a whole video on this. I'll link that one down below. It was sort of successful, it was okay, but there were definitely some bits and pieces that weren't quite right. Whereas these kind of take out a lot of those pieces. For me, what I thought was a cool idea was the fact that these were adjustable. So they got those clip stands that you can move up and down and vary the height. So you can, you know, not only do handstands on them at whatever height you want to, but you can also elevate them so they're high enough so that you can do dips if you want to, or you can even perform rows on them. So it's like a really versatile bit of training kit. Say you're going camping and there's no trees, or if you're going to the beach, there's nowhere to hang some rings. Like I can just take this and train on this. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a really cool idea and there is a little bit of wobble which means they'll be okay for hand balancing as well uh, But as I said, yeah, we're gonna go to the beach today. We're gonna test them out with my friends. It should be a pretty good time Right, so we found us somewhere to park, got the canes. Now to go find Dom and David, and we can go and do some training. Yo! Hey, hey, hey mate. Nice. Hey. hey. You're really tall, man. I did not know that. I just found you. Whoa! I'm not much of a canes, guys. I'll oh, take right. photos of you guys on it. I'm not. <laughs> I, my wrist can't bend that way. I've got so. a set of home, but they're like wedges, and I've never really taken them. Really? Better. Oh, good front lever canes though. Do you want to get down to the firm sand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness, it's all good. It's sick, actually. It's not bad. Yeah, it's there. It's not going to move. For those of you who don't know, what's your name? What do you do? Dominic, Origins of Vitality. It's finally a pleasure to meet Tom and uh, it's fucking train. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. Dave, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Dave. I, I just move. <laughs> you just move. Uh, Dave does handstands as well. He's pretty similar sort of level to me, like approaching one arm. Um, Dom's an ex like street workout guy, so he's super freaking strong. So yeah, should be fun. <laughs> yeah, had to go and do it, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, so you extend your legs back. <laughs> oh, that's, that's brilliant. So <laughs> Not just sex appeal for videos, also the humour, right? <laughs> yeah, up. Try to push more out of the path. Yeah, nice. Oh. Yeah, you're already like. Yeah, it's good, for the, it's good for the clearance, definitely, because you can come quite low on them. Yeah. Oh, 
Let's show off with these today. With that? <laughs> it's like continuous handstand push up. Yeah. I think that's the only way that's going to improve though. Because my core feels like I can tense it tight, but I don't have the strength yet to just lean. Like, I always find that with handstand push up, the key is staying forward on it and getting a heel drive going. Yeah, the heel. Well, what about the back patch? Yeah, but it's like the, just the idea of trying to pull the heels up. You get a little bit of compression, like, yeah. the rest, and that helps. It helps the fruit up the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I can do it on something that's that narrow, though. Yeah, I've heard everyone say that learning them and doing them on P bars is much harder than the floor. When you were doing um, what, like a one arm back lever when you tore your bicep, right? Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I can't do that, so I might as well train yeah. that. Yeah, one arm back lever is a little bit crazy. It's a good fun trick. That's one that I've been working on a lot, actually. It's, uh, it's been nice trying to get even straighter and feeling like that line through the spine rather than having a slight curve. Oh, you're still doing it on the other arm? Yeah, my right arm. Yeah, major imbalances, right? <laughs> yeah, if you guys didn't know, um, Dom is crazy, crazy strong. A little bit less strong lately because of the, the bicep tear, but crazy, crazy strong. Anyway, we're going to get some food, we're going to go T-bone, get some meat. So, yeah, all in all, that was a pretty great day. It was a good fun. Um, two very smart guys. Um, Dom is super strong. He's quite interested in the carnival diet. Does that expect that you know meat isn't bad for you? It's a, it's a very bioavailable, nutritious food. Something that we've been eating for millennia. It's not going to kill you. But yeah, so I had some interesting chats with him. David as well. Uh, very knowledgeable guy. Teaching with yoga, martial arts, bodyweight training, calisthenics. I really hope this one turned out well. Simply because whenever I do these sort of days where I meet with people, like I'm trying to enjoy and focus on like interacting with them, learning from them and, and doing whatever's happening at the time and sometimes the, the filming ends up being like second thoughts. Base blocks actually worked pretty well. I was, you know, I was skeptical to be honest when they, they sent this request, which is why I said to them like, I'll film the video and then depending on how they do, I'll either publish it or not. And like, if you're seeing this video, which you probably are because I think they're pretty good. Um, we had a good time on the beach. The idea of doing some dips, doing rows on them, as well as being able to do handstands. Like, I think that's, I think that's a cool idea, the adjustable height. Plus, it makes me feel good at hand balancing because balancing on canes is so much easier than balancing on the floor because the canes do some of the work for you. So I can actually hold some one arms briefly and, and feel like I'm somewhat okay at handstands. If you are interested in the canes, they'll be linked in the description down below. As I said, this is a sponsored video, but I do genuinely like the product. And if you buy using the link in the description, it also helps me out and supports the channel. So I appreciate that one. But that's been basically it for this week, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more collaborations, I'll try to get my filming skills up a little bit in the future. But just let me know in the comment section down below. Right next to it is also that thumbs up button where you can support the channel. And finally, there is that subscribe button right next to it if you want to join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe. But that's been basically it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.